Okay. So this is my biggest sticker removal yet. Um, keeping note of where the vent holes are right here. All right. Now, how do I know there's one under this sticker? If you look on the side, you can see the distance between the next one over there. So we're going to go that much farther over. It is right here, just under the seven. So we're going to avoid this whole area right here. And we're going to go with that very delicately. Um, this is the largest sticker I've ever removed. Um, although it's a really cool sticker, it's taken up the whole cover. So I think this Romancing the Stone, which is in really good shape, this is a no barcode Canadian version. It's got the single CBS Fox watermark in the back. Also has vent holes in the back. You can see right there and right there. That also indicates that it is Canadian. So as you can see, she's really dirty. So let's go ahead and get this sticker off and then we'll do a cleaning on her. So once again, we're going to wet everything down with lighter fluid. All you do is get it on a Q-tip. Make sure you shake it first. I was lucky. I did have a corner up right there. You see how she's soaking in? You can see through the sticker now. Might actually just start working on that area right there. So again, I'm staying away from this seven. All right, I think that's good for right now. We're gonna pull this corner and see how well she comes. I did not touch the seal with that. <laughs> right. See how easy she comes up. Okay, she's coming off. Looks like she's leaving a little residue. She's coming right off though. Let's see if we can take care of that residue here. Okay, that residue's bugging me. I want to get it real quick. And I will use a different Q-tip now. Yep, there's still some on there. And what I'll do is I'll cut this. And off this Q-tip so I don't use it because it's got adhesive on it now. We are going to get the other side going. I gotta say, this Kmart sticker is probably one of the harder ones for me to do. It's not really working with me. I'm gonna get my own shit rag ready. Just in case. So it wants to go inside that hole before setting the seal back on it, we can get underneath it. Hopefully. That's the idea. I've never had anything go under the hole. But I've never removed a sticker that was uh, over a vent hole.
Okay, so now I'm down here. I'm gonna actually wet the rest of this sticker because it seems like it was coming off easier before. I just want to know so that as I'm cleaning around this hole, that the seal is not laying on the sleeve. I have a constant pressure pulling it up to keep the lighter fluid from touching the actual sleeve. That will definitely damage the sleeve if lighter fluid hits it, so be careful. Okay, we definitely have an excess amount of adhesive underneath this. So, that's fun. We're almost there. About time they fix the road out there. I live on a little private road and there they did some logging down at the end there it is this is my little sticker removal hall of fame here all these with the stickers that are removed, they are all either sent into IGS or they're ready to go into IGS. I've been busy when trying to get all these. Do you see that right there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so let's get the sharp objects out of here. We did not damage the seal that, uh, pulling that'll tighten up naturally that is from the lighter fluid give it a few hours and it should go down so I actually have to clean off the rest of that avoiding that little hole so I'm gonna do that right now Sticker went all the way up there. That is insane. Uh, we got a little bit off. No, I mean we got most of it. We got a little left. I think I just got it. It still feels a little tacky. I'm gonna have to do it again. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna let this vape off. You can see the how it thinned it out there. That lighter fluid, that'll shrink right back up as soon as the uh, fumes vape off. So I will get back with you after it's all cleaned off and before I package it up to go to IGS. I don't know if this is going to go with another VHS, but I'll figure that out in a little bit. Okay, so it's been a few hours. 
And as you can see, there's that little spot. It looks like that is right at the corner. It looks like somebody tried peeling the sticker off. You see how that's right there? You can see the, there's some right there. So they didn't remove it yeah, even up there. Yep, every single corner looks like it was picked at. They were trying to remove that sticker. And all they had to do was get out the lighter fluid. You see that? She is nice and tight. It's not wavy anymore. Now that that's all tightened back up, I will go through and we're going to give this a dry cleaning. Sides beautiful. Oh yeah, that's right. I never did the top. Okay, let's do that. We got our semi-moist, just because it's so bad. And if it's any kind of gritty stuff, you'll want to pick it up with something rather than basically sand the cellophane with it. And you can see how dirty that was. So now we got the rag out there we go and there's the top so whoop. there's the top so one final look at it she looks really good like I said that seal tighten up just from sitting. There's the side, there's the back. We never hit the watermark. We got a little bit of a something there. I don't know what it is. Lighter fluid didn't want to take it off and I don't want to work too hard. But you can see it right there. I don't know if I can pick it off. Oh, I can. Okay. So I got that piece off. Make sure it's not stuck on there somewhere else because if you don't tell them to clean it, they're not gonna clean it. So you gotta make sure she's clean. Well, I feel like that's on the seal there. Oh, it is. Okay. I think that's about the best I'm going to get this one. Which is not bad from a movie from 1985. And it's not 1984 because it's not a great tape head, but it does not have a barcode. So that means it's 85, I believe. 85, maybe 86, but I think 86 or 87, they started putting the barcode down here. And then later on, they started putting it on the side. So here is Romancing the Stone, Michael Douglas. And who else was in this? I don't know who she is. So I know who he is. But very, very cool piece of history will be put into a slab like this. I'd like to thank you for watching Homestead Hobbies and Collectibles. If you could, please give this a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Please give this a thumbs up. And ring the notification bell after hitting that subscribe button. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace. All right, so here we are. We just finished up our Romancing the Stone. I did have her all packed up. As you can see, the seal is still tight looking good this is a good looking copy right here 
Look at the bottom, it looks beautiful. There's a little ding here. Um, I think there was something in the upper corner. No. I thought there was another corner hit somewhere on this. Yeah, looks a little rounded, but not too bad there. Probably from the seal. I don't think they'll hit me too bad on that. There we go, right there. We have a hit right up here. That'll knock the grade down. The seal is uh, in pretty good shape, but people trying to pull up that sticker, then uh, it definitely dings it down a bit. So, I'm not going to make any predictions because I am not no expert at this, but I'm going to keep this, guys. I think I'm going to keep both of these, actually. So, these won't get sold. If they do get sold, it'll be sold after I find a nicer copy. But uh, this fly right here is the 80, what is it, 86? Is it 86 or 87? Leave a comment. Was it 86 or 87 where they started putting the barcode on the bottom? But yeah, she uh, turned out really good. There is some scuffing on the seal there. There is a, a corner poke by my thumb there, as well as a hole on the bottom. There is a tear. It's gonna knock the seal grade down quite a bit on this, but overall condition's really nice on this. I don't suspect it's gonna get anything less than an 85. I, I wouldn't be surprised if she brings a 90. Um, I'll be happy, but uh, as far as these two go, I don't know. I think that that's a pretty hard hit right there. That's probably gonna over here. It was on the back. Yeah, it was a pretty hard hit right there. It's lifting up the top flap there. So that's gonna that's gonna ding her down quite a bit. So this may get a 90. This may get a 90. I'm expecting 85s on both, so nonetheless, the front of them, beautiful, beautiful. If it had like a hole in the front or something like that, I wouldn't even send it in. If the seal was torn or mangled in the front, I mean, because when it comes down to your graded movies and your graded games, it's not the side view, it's not the back view, nobody's displaying the back, we're displaying the front, I want to see the beauty of the cover art. So. Both of these, awesome cover art. I believe originally done in oil on canvas. So, pretty cool stuff. I know this one was done on canvas because if you look close enough, you can actually see the canvas marks in it. Like in the leaves and stuff. Pretty cool stuff. I don't know if this was done on canvas, but most of them back in the day were. I would have to say, yeah, this is there's a painting somewhere for each one of these. But very cool stuff, very cool pieces of history. I think I'm gonna end up keeping them. Um, I've never even seen The Fly or Romancing the Stone, but I got introduced with uh, the whole VHS market because I found that Star Wars and Empire. So I'm kinda hooked on the CBS Fox lineup. I, I kinda, wanna, kinda wanna collect them all, you know? So if you have it, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell if you wanna be up to date on the grades that these beautiful movies bring in. Yeah, they look good too. Well, thanks for watching. Homestead Hobbies and Collectibles. Peace again.